In this video, Jane will show you how to warp the Eris tapestry loom that has had the Eris beam kit installed. The other equipment she will use includes a warping board, a 20 inch rattle, rubber bands, and warping slats or sticks for beaming the warp. First, set up your loom. Remove the shedding device. You will reinstall it when you are ready to put on the heddles. Attach a rattle. Jane used a shaft 20 inch rattle, set up with pins spaced every half inch. Clamp the rattle to the tension beam from the back of the loom. Remove the warp wedge bar from the loom so you can use it as a warping dowel. Install your preferred warp coil on the top beam. Now measure the warp. Determine your project's warp length and add 36 inches for loom waist. Wind the warp on a warping board and at the cross end, add a counting thread that counts off in half inch increments. Cut a long piece of cotton yarn. Use a color that will stand out against your warp. Center the counting thread at the back of the cross next to the warping board so that its two ends are free. Count off one half inch. Jane's project will have eight ends per inch, so she counts off four warp ends. The counting thread travels inside the cross openings. Cross the left side of the counting thread over the right side and leave the ends hanging on the outside of the cross. Move forward through the cross. Count and wrap the warp ends with the counting thread, then cross the counting thread ends and snug up the bundle. When you've bundled all the warp ends, tie the ends of the counting thread in an overhand knot. Secure the warp with cross ties and choke ties. Remove the warp from the warping board. Spread the warp in the rattle. Take the top off your rattle. Temporarily, tie the non-cross end of the warp chain to the bottom beam of the loom. Bring the warp chain up the front of the loom and over the top, draping the cross end over the rattle. It should hang down about six to eight inches at the back of the loom. Slide the warping dowel, which is the loom's warp wedge bar, through the cross end of the warp chain. Use rubber bands to temporarily secure this dowel to the warp beam's apron bar. Remove the choke ties and cross ties, but leave the counting thread in place on your warp chain. To center the warp on the loom, divide your project's weaving width in half. Measure from the center of the rattle using this number. The shaft rattle has a black pin marking its center. Begin spreading the warp at this point. The rattle is set up with pins every half inch. For a warp of eight ends per inch, each section of the rattle will hold four warp threads. When you wound your warp, you placed a counting thread around sections of four threads. As you fill the rattle, you will undo one section of the counting thread and spread its ends into one section of the rattle. Then repeat this process all the way across the warp and across the rattle. When you have spread the entire warp into rattle sections, remove the rubber bands, then tightly tie or lash the warping dowel to the warp beam apron bar with strong cotton string. Beam the warp, winding a little bit at a time and tightening the tension as you go. Insert warping sticks or slats between each layer of warp, using two for each rotation around the beam. We recommend warping sticks or slats for this loom instead of cardboard because of the high tension required. Leave the non-cross end long enough to attach to the cloth beam apron bar. Pull the cloth beam apron bar under the bottom beam of the loom. Cut the non-cross end of the warp chain. Tie these warp ends in one half inch or one inch bundles and then lash the bundles onto the cloth beam apron bar. You will need seven inches of a strong cotton cord. Begin by tying this cord to the cloth beam apron bar. Insert the cord through the first bundle of warp ends and then return around the apron bar. Go around it up to the next warp bundle, back around the apron bar, and so on until you have lashed all warp end bundles to the apron bar.
After you've secured the final bundle, temporarily tie the cord to the apron bar and take out some of its slack. Now, securely tie the cord to the apron bar. Adjust the tension by pulling on the cord back and forth across the warp until the warp is even and the apron bar is parallel to the cloth beam. Because the cord is a continuous length, the tension will equalize as you work your way across. Remove the rattle. You may need to loosen the tension on the warp slightly to unclamp and slide it out. Flip the ratchet dogs down so they engage with the ratchet gears. Turn the dowel handles on the warp and cloth beads to tighten tension. Spread the warp in the warp coil, beginning at one salvage and following each warp end down from the tension beam to the coil. Make sure the ends do not cross each other. A fairly tight tension will make this process easier. Reinstall the shedding device and install heddles. You'll find instructions in the manual for the Aris Tapestry Loom and in videos on our YouTube channel. You are now ready to weave on your Aris Loom with the Beam Kit. Happy weaving!